up guys Mike G with the MDG collections on hand today ladies and gentlemen this will be the first time I put Genzilla supercharged in track mode now guys this is going to be very exciting so what I have done is, is I've had this car well over a month I would say almost almost two months and I have yet to put my car in track mode I've been waiting for this day uh, I'm past 500 miles the car is dirty and I'm gonna jump on the parkway and we're gonna get this car in track mode and I want you guys to hear how this car sounds in track mode these new 2020 chargers they turn the Hellcat wide bodies and of course the supercharger should scream even more while we're in track mode now I've been in the full 717 after I did my little eco mode test the first week and these cars are exhilarating so you know I've been in street mode the whole time I have not put it in sport or track today we're going right to track and we're gonna jump on the parkway it is a very windy and hilly and a lot of stretches on this parkway so it should be great for some track mode experiences so let's go ahead and do that right now all right so let's just go right to the srt pages let's go to drive modes and we're going to put this car directly into track from uh, auto which is as you can see 717 everything is in street and we will go straight to track mode and now that turns electronic stability control is in track it tells you on the that's new for me i did not have that in my daytona 392 there is only the traction that you could put in sport or you could have it in street so now i can have it in track so i'm pretty excited about that all right guys so we are in track mode right now the full track mode 717 transmission as you saw is in track paddle shifters are on and traction is in track suspension is in track and steering is in track and just like that i can feel a big difference when it comes to the handling of this car and the suspension is very, very, actually very stiff. So I'm on this same highway that I've been on, you know, in, in, in the past within this last month that I've had the car a little over a month and these little hiccups and bumps that I'm hitting in the road, you can feel, you can feel everything almost. You can feel it a lot more than what you can feel it before. So let me just hit vent. So maybe you guys can kind of hear as we're going through some of these underpasses what she sounds like but at the same time you know I don't want to put the windows down and compromise the audio on this video so you know I mean the car is just extremely extremely aggressive you know very aggressive the car has went to like another level it seems so you know right now we're just cruising until we get into the upper parts of the highway where I kind of want to show you guys or, or the parkway where I'm going to show you guys what she's made of in track mode but just an incredible experience so far and it's amazing how it feels like the car is completely different I mean you can just feel how much firm this suspension is all the way in track it is super stiff coming up through and on the pass right now just commentate everything for you guys because you cannot see the the road wow. I mean this car I'm not even I don't even have my foot on the accelerator we're going 60 you know I'm not even touching the accelerator and the car is just we're at 60 miles per hour underpass double one Open 
flat and I don't have to worry about other cars. Right now I'm just doing a regular highway drive and just enjoying it, just, you know, enjoying the drive. Hellcats are off the charts. Wow, just shift three times real quick right there in a short amount of time. I can feel the car, boom, boom, boom. And it was like. So that was my exit there, but I'm gonna keep going to give you guys a little bit more of a drive. You know, I'm telling you right now, when I watch these videos back on playback, it is not the same. The, the experience, when I'm watching it, it's not the same from how it is when I'm actually in this car. You know, I may put the windows down, just crack them just a little bit, guys, so you can kind of kind of hear this more, and I won't talk as much. Hopefully this doesn't mess me up. But you know what? Let me bring her up just a little bit so it's not so, so much wind. Bring this down, and I, I can't remember if this is too much, but I'll let you guys know after this video. I'll let you guys know if this is too much, you know, as far as the wind overpowering my voice. So I got vent open with my sunroof, and I got both my windows. As you can see, this one from this view, you can probably see it crack just a little bit. I got the passenger side the exact same cracked uh, distance amount. touching the surface with the acceleration on these cars you know you haven't even began I haven't even started these wide bodies with this 305 all the way around system is incredible Alright guys, 
guys. So we're gonna head back on the other side. All right, so I'm going back towards coming around a bend, big, big curve right now. It's, look at this big curve, we're getting 66 miles per hour on a bend like that. Wow. Wow, these cars are incredible. And yeah, this is definitely a car that is kind of, it is kind of tuned for a track. It's not a designated, it's not a true track car, but look at this, I'm coming around straight up curve. Look at this, big curve. 73 miles, look at this. you right now the handling is off the charts it is off the charts that's all I can say it's like it's through the roof here we are 70 degrees in New York City and once again just the stock Pirelli's and it's still handled like that I mean no fish tailing no sideways just straight up you know I wish I, I wish I would have had the camera rolling when I got back on the highway to go back down and and just let you guys hear how it sounded when I was on the arm ramp guys all i can say is this is my all-time brand new favorite car this daytona hellcat is the most incredible machine i have ever driven in my life now we just got off the highway right now we just got off the expressway or the parkway or whatever you want to call it and this car handled like a true track car and i'm saying that not to be i'm not trying i'm trying not to be biased because it's my car i'm telling you these cars at 4500 pounds as big as they are they are true nas cars all right not just some boring straight away you know just drag strip I, that does not do anything for me i like the road course where you can really get these cars out there on the flat and you know get up get up to speeds drop down down shifts coming around bends up the hills down hills to the left to the right it is just an incredible machine let me just sit in the car right now so i can talk to you guys a little bit better you know just the pure acceleration that you get from these cars when you know you're in a situation like i was just in on on a parkway and you can just go you can just really experience this car you know you cannot go extremely crazy it's not a closed course you know you're just driving the car like you're on a, on a highway 
as you drive any other car, but you, you do have that, that, that exhilaration. You get those pulls in the open flat that you cannot experience in any other thing that is, that is out there. So I'm telling you right now, this summer, this spring and summer, it is my mandatory mission to get to the nearest, uh, I probably have to go to New Jersey, to the nearest race course, uh, to, to the nearest road course, and get these cars and put this car on the track. I want to test it. I want to test it zero to 60 times, and I want to test the uh, track handling, and you know, I may do the quarter mile, even though I can really care less about that. But you know, I just want to show you guys what these cars are about and how they they just excel. Now, today was an incredible experience for me for the first time to enjoy Genzel Supercharged in track mode, just to see how she would perform. She performed incredible. And that's all I can say, guys. These cars are something special. They're something special. For me to have the great discipline that I have to be able to have this car for almost two months and not even put it in track mode on a drive, not even once, shows my true dedication to this, this channel and what I'm trying to do for you guys. And like I said, it was just a day I could not wait for. I knew this day was coming where I was going to be, you know, putting this car in track mode and for the first time and really getting on it on the expressway so I can show you guys what they're made of. Now, that was an experience that never could get old, I'm telling you right now, and I was nowhere near at the full potential of what this Daytona Hellcat can do. I wouldn't even say even nowhere near half. I could have been at 35%, uh, let's just say 35%, when it comes to highway track track experience. That was about 35%, you know, as far as, you know, on the roads, the regular streets, that would have been well, you know, well over, you know, 35%. But when you're talking about just the track experience, being on the highway, you put your car in track mode, it's almost like, you know, if you have a if you have a highway or a parkway that has a lot of curves and bends and hills and uh, declines, like I just experienced, like I have here, you can really enjoy this car. So I just wanna thank you guys for the support. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video. There will be more to come. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have that bell clicked with all post notifications turned on. And I will see you in the next one. And ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be a wrap.